In this part of the lesson, we're going to learn about how to use the with statement, which is a useful thing to be able to do when you want to apply multiple methods or properties to the same object. Let's start by opening up the file that I've downloaded and extracted, and then if necessary, we can click the enable content button to allow the code to run. Let's switch into the Visual Basic Editor and have a quick look at the code that already exists. So we have a subroutine in here called not using with, and you can see that at the beginning of each statement here, we've made a reference to the range a1.font property. Following that, we've changed the bold property, the size property, color, name, and italic properties. The issue here is that we've had to repeat range a1.font at the beginning of each statement. What we want to do is use a with statement to avoid repeating that code. So let's create a new subroutine called using with. And the very first word I'm going to write within this subroutine is the word with. Following that on the same line, I need to make a reference to the thing that I want to apply all of my future methods and properties to. So I'm going to start by referring to range A1. Then I'm going to refer to the font property of range A1. And then on the next line, what I can do is begin referring to the properties of the font of range A1. And I can do that just by typing in a full stop. Now, of course, ordinarily, you can't begin a statement in VBA with a full stop, but within a with block, you can. So every statement I write within the with block assumes that I've already referenced range a1.font. So at this point, I can just carry on and replicate what I've done earlier. So I can refer to the bold property, and I can make that equal to true. And then on the next line, I can type in a full stop again, which again is automatically assumed to begin with range a1.font. Then I can refer to the size property equals 14. Feel free to either copy and paste or continue typing in these statements. I'm just replicating what I've done in the previous subroutine, just in a slightly more succinct way. So I'm going to prefer to the set the font name to be equal to Arial. And then finally, the font italic property to be equal to true as well. At the end of a with block, I need to close the block. So just like we close sub with end sub, I can close with, with end with. The indenting isn't particularly important, but just for clarity, like we indent everything within a subroutine by one space, it's conventional to indent everything within a with block by one space. It's not necessary, but it does help to make the code easier to read. I can now just check that the subroutine works in the standard way. So I'm going to move my VB editor out of the way a little bit. And then I'm just going to click within the subroutine and press the play button to run it. And there we go. We can see that all the things I wanted to happen, the bold size, color, name, and italic property of the font of range A1 have all been changed. So at this point, you're welcome to move on to the extra practice session, which asks you to create a few more with statements. Alternatively, move on to the next part of this lesson.